H1. It's more of the ones you like. VH1. Sure, in this VH one on one Valentine's interview, Laura explains what she hopes her music achieves. Oh, uh, I want to touch people's hearts. That's really with my music, that's that is the thing that I want to do. I all over the world, I don't not just in America. I really want to um, reach out and and um just uh like give my heart to them. It's the one place that I will give anything on stage, you know, unequivocally. And I'd like to, you know, feel the same from them. That's, that's I think that's why I started singing, not just because I had the voice, but that was the thing that drove me. But I wanted to, I wanted to touch. It was the foreign origins of that hit American song. It was originally Italian by uh, an artist called Umberto Tazzi, all in Italian, and it was a love story. And it was the You're the Sun and the Moon and the Stars. And, but the, the girl's name was Gloria, and I couldn't very well sing that. <clears throat> I could, but I didn't want to. <laughs> so um, we rewrote the lyrics and, you know, thought up the story about girls that I've seen, you know, getting caught up in the fast lane and, and um, really heading for a breakdown or heading for a crash, you know, and I'm talking to them. And it's funny because it's it's a serious song in terms of the lyrics, but everyone just feels so up when they hear it. The first thing um, I look for in a song is emotion. Um, something that, the whole reason I sing is because I want to, you know, uh, express something that, I think I was very shy growing up and I never could express myself and I found singing is my way. So I really look for just a, a tremendous amount of emotion in the songs. And then I, um, that's my basis. And then of course the music, you know, is very important. And something that's very today, but almost tomorrow as well, without being a uh, nouveau, you know, just a real beautiful melody. Well, I'm not really over it completely, but in um, in my business, you know, I am like the first interview I did. I couldn't speak, but you know, you get used to it. You have to. It's part of your living, and um, it starts to bring you out of yourself. I think uh, it's something that just happens gradually, just probably out of necessity. And I'm I'm happy because I think I found out things about myself that are un being uncovered the more I allow them to come out. Takes time now. Tonight has an international flavor. We were in Germany, uh, I forget what city, in Munich, and we shot it at the college. Um, it was the uh, it was a director that I had worked with on some TV um, shoots, and uh, he came up with the idea of the Magritte because the, it was shot in this um, one, you know, the buildings are so beautiful. And it was, it wasn't, um, it was this whole big, um, like a courtyard almost, with stairs going up and huge, beautiful statues. And they wrapped all the statues, you know, like concrete. And then um, all the actresses, we shot all night. But it was, it was, we, we did this one the qu quickest because I was toying and I had one day to do it, so. Oh, it was fun though, it was really different working in a different country on a video.